The speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman from Texas is recognized. Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 4330, the Protect Reporters from Exploitive State Spying Act, or the PRESS Act. The PRESS Act would create a strong but qualified federal statutory privilege that protects journalists from being compelled by the federal government to reveal confidential sources and information. Additionally, the bill prohibits the federal government from compelling an electronic service provider that stores a journalist's information to disclose that information, as well as information relating to the journalist's personal account or technology device to the government unless a court determines that there is a reasonable threat of imminent violence absent the information's disclosure and subject to other requirements and certain uh, specified exceptions. H.R. 4330 is necessary and long overdue legislation. Over the past several decades, presidential administrations both parties of uh, both parties have attempted to crack down on leaks of classified information to media outlets, and these investigations have included efforts to obtain journalist records. For example, just last year, the Washington Post, the New York Times, and CNN reported that the Department of Justice under the Trump administration sought the information and records of their reporters. The most sacred part of our freedom includes the protection and freedom of the press. That is embedded in the Constitution uh, in our First Amendment in the Bill of Rights. And so to hear and to see that glaring infraction shows us the necessity of this legislation before us. In addition, during the Obama administration, the department reportedly searched Fox News reporter James Rosen's emails and even listed him as a co-conspirator in an espionage act that it brought against the source of the leaked information. These and other recent episodes illustrate the need for stronger federal protections for journalists and their sources. The truth is cleansing. The truth is democracy. Indeed, 40 states and the District of Columbia have enacted press shield laws, while other states afford similar pri privileges through their state constitution and common law. Moreover, there has been longstanding and bipartisan support in Congress for federal protections. In 2005, former Vice President Mike Pence, when he was a member of this body, first introduced the Free Flow of Information Act, which was very similar in concept to H.R. 4330. That legislation subsequently passed the House twice in the 110th, 111th Congresses, for the, the first time by 398 to 21, and the second time by voice vote. Unfortunately, the Senate never took action on these bills, but I am pleased uh, that efforts to advance a federal reporter's shield bill continue in the House today. Again, we must stand for liberty. It is my hope that the Senate will finally take up this important issue. I want to thank Congressman Jamie Raskin, Ted Lieu, John Yarmouth for their work on the Press Act. And I also thank uh, the Judiciary Committee ranking member, Jim Jordan, for his support. The need for this legislation is as great, if not greater, than when we was first introduced in an earlier form many years ago. I urge all of my colleagues to vote yes on this important bipartisan legislation, and I reserve at this time the balance of my time.